hello guys in this video we will be installing a very cool model called as mini cpm llama 3 v 2.5 this model is quite interesting in various ways it is the latest model in mini cpm v series and i already have covered the previous models of this series and they have always performed very well this new model is built on thicklip 400 million and llama 3 8 billion instruct with a total of 8 billion parameters and as you know that i am i have a special soft corner for llama 3 8 billion because it's a very very high quality model and so i'm more than sure that this mini cpm is going to be a blast this new model shows a significant performance improvement over mini cpm v2 by the way because it has a leading performance because this model has achieved an average score of 65.1 on open compass which is a comprehensive evaluation benchmark and it is actually a combination of benchmarks so open compass also it surpasses models like gpt 4v gemini pro quen vl max and cloud 3 with 8 billion parameters also it has already outperformed various other multimodal large models built on llama 3 so that is quite surprising for me and that is why i always wanted to test it then another thing uh, which is quite cool about this model is that it has very strong ocr capabilities so i really would like to test it out on one of my image of youtube thumbnail plus in the ocr benchmark it has surpassed gpt 4 o gpt 4 v and Quen VL Max. So I was really surprised that it has even surpassed GPT 4.0. This is the first vision language model or multimodal model which has surpassed GPT 4.0 in any benchmark. Also, it has uh, got very trustworthy behavior, which is a hallmark of Llama 3 models. So it achieves 10.3% hallucination rate on object l bench which is lower than gpt 4v by the way and it is a best level within the open source community and of course it is it has got multilingual support both english and chinese also it supports other languages like german french spanish italian and russian so it is very good to see a multilingual model in such a small uh, size which is i believe around 8.35 something like billion so not a very very huge model also it employs model quantization cpu optimization npu optimizations and compile and optimization as acceleration techniques it has already achieved high efficiency deployment on edge devices i couldn't find any mobile devices deployment instruction but as i do i will share it with you because they have promised it in their paper that they will share it very soon but for the purpose of this um, video i'm going to show you how you can get it installed locally and then we will go from there now for the local install i will be using my own ubuntu system let me take you there so this is my ubuntu system which has 22.04 um, ubuntu version and it is running one gpu card of 22 gpu of vram so hopefully it should be good enough let me clear the screen also so clear and also i am running conda for the conda version i am using 24.1.2 if you don't know what that is please search the channel i already have heaps of um, videos around conda let me clear the screen and now let me create the conda environment so i'm just creating the conda, conda environment for mini cpm with python version 3.10 because um, they say that they have tested it for that version let's press y here and that should be done pretty soon and that is done and now let's activate this conda environment by doing conda activate mini cpm and you can see that it is in the parenthesis now let me clear the screen let's install all the prerequisites which are quite a lot like we know torch torch vision transformer and this model has been tested with these versions so that is why i am specifying these ones so let's wait for all of these to get installed in our virtual environment that will keep them all simple and separate clean all the prerequisites are done let me clear the screen and let's load the python interpreter first let's import the torch 
okay so it is saying that it cannot open it so i think i need to reinstall it it seems or i might i might need to install this cuda here so in order to resolve that all i have done is i have just did pip install torch and it uninstalled the other version and installed the latest one so let's see it should work now so it is importing the torch it has imported the pillow and it has imported the transformers that's great and now let's download the model as you can see i'm downloading this mini cpm llama 3 and i'm just downloading in in 4 precision to save on gpu memory and now it is downloading the shards of the models and as you can see there are two shards so let's wait for it to get finished model is now downloaded and it has also been downloaded into our gpu let's now get the tokenizer for this same model and tokenizer is also done now let's just evaluate the model so these are just shows the structure of the model here that how many layers are there and then it tells you how many embeddings layers all that stuff if you're interested you can read through it pretty interesting if you want to know the underlying structure of the model but not necessary step anyway now model download configure is done it is locally present now now let's grab our image so this is the image which is present on my local system i think it is in the images directory let me quickly check this image i just moved it to my local directory where i'm running this code so the image is this let me also show you the image in the browser this is i made with a sunset three kangaroos some birds flying at the top and there's a solitary tree sunset scene so let's try to ask this from this model so i'm um, the question is what is in this image let's see if model is able to respond let's also set up our prompt template in the form of role is user content is question and now let's get the response from the model so this is um, the response which i'm trying to get from the model so here we are passing the image we are passing our message or the prompt tokenizer plus we are just saying that just do the sampling and the creativity we are putting it to seven which is a bit high but that is good for the vlms so as you can see model has processed that image and let's print the result it says image depicts a serene scene of an orange sunset with a large yellow sun in the background there is a little hoot of a tree on the left yes and there are three kangaroos in motion on the right the sky is adorned with birds flying in the distance creating a beautiful and peaceful ambience amazing stuff totally correct now let's do, uh, try to do the ocr on this one let me show you the ocr image so this is my youtube thumbnail which i'm going to pass to it so let's see if it is able to read these characters and the microsoft here let's go back to our image and then pass that prompt i'm just going to press enter few times and let's give it another image which is the uh, one i just showed you and then that is done let's pass it on to the model and then let's wait for the model to come back and then we are going to print the result as model comebacks model is already there so you could say the image contains text that reads how to create synthetic data set with llm locally and a logo for microsoft absolutely true but it didn't mention that there was a man in the photo but anyway i don't think so i'm that important but other than that i think ocr stuff of this model is amazing so really impressed by that so that's it guys that is how you can install this model locally and play around with it you know it has lived up to its name as i mentioned earlier ocr all the image capabilities are amazing let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching